Hey there. You're the professor, yeah? I've been looking for you. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account of some rumors making their way through the Commonwealth. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast, all on their own. You heard anything like that? Have you heard anything about a town up north called Bar Harbor? North beyond the Commonwealth? No. Operations have been kept to this area. Why? I found a holotape. Someone's encouraging synths to flee up the coast to the north. There have been a few units that have been particularly difficult to track down. If they're leaving the Commonwealth entirely, that would explain it. If you're already actively working on this, would you mind following up on it? I'd be interested to hear if anything turns up. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during the... A difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. And now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main... The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hull! Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! What the hell? Eyes peeled, everyone! Open the gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Ready all! Fire at will! <laughs> What the? Watch yourself! Uh. Come <laughs> on! 
paying off. So, as if we haven't had no. enough. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Anglers! Something else. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. And for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those Children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law, just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide, old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there.
Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Mariner. The hull took a battering, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. Town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. For good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Hey, a mariner. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Can you tell me about the tannery? A man named Polly used to camp there. Very handy fellow. Fog rolled in a year back, and he had to pull up his stake. He left the harbor recently, so everything that's there is fair salvage. commodities you know how to get them caps that stupid wall is the only thing that kept you stowaways alive that and the mainlander the mainlander <laughs> what kept us safe was harborman and the firepower i sold them want supplies tell you what apply that big old brain of yours to dealing with the real threat those children of adam whack jobs haven't you fouled up things enough alan and now you mean to make it worse? They're still alive, aren't they? Figure I got a whole lot more work to do. No deal. But this isn't the last of it. Sure the hell looks like it to me. Alan? Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I am the one who saved all your asses, so yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. You've been, uh, All right so far. Here, for your, uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up. They've been feeding the fog. Getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, 
My daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. Mr. Lee's lined me up a deal. Uh, more than enough caps to get off this cursed island. I need that gun. A miserable rascal like Big you doesn't deserve to be on this island. You should be praying for your friend instead of reading up on his wing. Now, get the hell out of my clinic. I'm scraping by. If you ain't on, you ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. No, <laughs> it's a mainlander. Welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Let's take a look. Mmm. Mm. Got a fighting chance. The bait shop. Fog's poison. The kind of the children of Adam. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. 
It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame, that. Where'd you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Yeah. Woo! Time to party. Here's some Mitch. Mitch. What's so special about the fog on the island? Can't you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mine goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Perfect. So much not.
Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. The last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers? They're a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. Sling a bit of lead on the hull and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. Really? Do I look like your average mainlander? Truth be told, no. This goes against my better judgment. I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my alerts out there. Don't order me around, old man. <laughs> you want to make this a one-way trip? Then by all means, ignore me. If you want to live, then heed me. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those, too? Mm -hmm.